All right, everybody. Today we're going to talk about the the now in the news Montana registrations. I've done videos on it. I've explained it. I have I've drawn parallels to it. But now, thank you, Jalopnik is what pointed it in my direction, and a bunch of people sending it over to me. Now the state of Georgia cracked down. When I say cracked down, we're talking like gun-toting FBI agents, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, goes in. And I see I'm, I'm torn because I don't like to think of Jalopnik as a media outlet. And then I, I read stories like this, which point out that it's not really a media outlet. It's more of a clickbait outlet because the, the Montana license plate scam, as, as they're putting it, or the Montana license plate thing is that you can become a resident of Montana by opening a business and registering a car there. There's no residency requirements. That is their their bar of of registering and uh, and even in, in Montana, there's no state sales tax. So that's a a reason that people do it. So that's one of the reasons, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Now, Jalopnik wants to report on that and be like, yo, Instagram bros getting cracked down. No, it's not Instagram bros. This is not like a, a fad. This is something that essentially rich people are doing because it's when I say rich people, it's not something, it's it's counterproductive to do it or it doesn't make financial sense to do it if you don't have an expensive car, if you're looking to, to avoid paying taxes or get around, get around paying taxes, much better word, because this is not tax fraud. What this is, is essentially tax planning uh, or just being smart. Now, this gets into a whole thing of like, what's fair, you go, you're rich, you're this, you're that. Nobody has a problem when everyone registers their business in Delaware because they're avoiding stupid state laws that Delaware protects companies against. So nobody's got a problem with that. But if somebody does has any sort of strategy to avoid paying money, nobody's got a problem with Apple. Everyone loves Apple. They got billions of dollars in Ireland. Billions. They avoid paying taxes. Trump is trying to repatriate all of this money that's being kept overseas, all these profits that are being kept overseas as tax strategy, not tax avoidance. It's if there is a playbook and you read the playbook and the playbook says you can do this and this just because you don't do it or it doesn't make sense for you to do it. If somebody else does it, that doesn't make it illegal. Now, even these, these guys going in and rating, no charges were pressed against these guys. And these guys did it a lot. They had a bunch of cars in Montana and it's perfectly legal what they're doing. It's, you may not like it. You may, it may not be worth you doing, but essentially you can't really do anything about it. And that's, that's the big thing. If you don't want to permit cars from Montana entering the state of Georgia, that's your problem. I think the best way to do it is to not charge so much in taxes. If that is a reason driving people elsewhere, there will always be a flow to, to where things should be. If you overcharge people for milk, they will find another way to buy milk. Prohibition. We're making alcohol illegal. You know what? Things are going to happen where the, 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 there's a dam here and then it's all going to come around the dam, except that wall, that border wall. Nobody's getting over that thing. When Trump shoots this thing up into the sky, I'm just kidding. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you got to separate tax avoidance and, and tax fraud or tax, whatever. So other reasons to register something in Montana, permanent plates. I've got a bunch of cars now, my personal cars that I've registered in Montana. Why did I do that? Well, I never have to re-register it again. You can't drive around and say your registration's expired because I got a permanent tag now. And yeah, it costs me more to do it because I've already paid the tax on the cars and it cost me more to then register it in, in Montana. But I bought a car for 1100 bucks. I registered it in Montana. The tax on the $1,100 car is 70 bucks. I got to walk to the DMV and done it. I spent $500 to register it in Montana just because I have a plate that's on that car for the rest of its life. So all I got to do is keep the insurance active and it's good. I don't have all the nonsense requirements of like, oh, I got to go get it inspected or anything like that. So you can't just say it's for tax avoidance because all of my cars that I've already paid tax on, I now register in Montana because it makes sense. It's just like I cannot have to worry about it anymore. If I know I'm going to keep a car for a while, it doesn't make sense with a leased car. My Chevy Volt is registered in New Jersey because it's going to stay in New Jersey. And it's like, there's no reason to register it over there and go through the headache for a leased car that I'm not going to have. Permanent plates, though, is awesome. So don't look at this as like tax fraud. And just because it's not fair that somebody else isn't doing this, something there's so much stuff in this light, in this world that you can say isn't fair, 
The only way you can go through life and not be pissed off about everything is to look and say, this is the playbook. How can I make this work to my advantage? And just not worry about what you think somebody else should be doing, whether that person should be paying this or this person should be paying that or that guy shouldn't be on welfare. That guy, you can't fix the world. And to try to say that this guy is doing something that I don't like, so I don't like my neighbor pays less taxes than I do. I don't like that this guy in Iowa is paying less property taxes. You can't, you can't argue over everything. And if there are, I, I don't even want to call it a loophole, but if there are, opportunities for people to save money. I assure you they're going to save money. I don't like that that guy's got coupons that I don't. I don't like that that guy's using a friends and family discount. I don't like that that guy's on a, a frequent flyer travel buddy pass. Like all of this stuff that, that you don't think is fair is something that it's only fair because you're not taking advantage of it or it doesn't make sense for you to take advantage of it. So let's see how this shakes out. I'm really excited that Georgia actually did this and did this crackdown because you know what a whole bunch of rich people have in common? Lots of rich lawyers. And what do rich lawyers do? They say, like, you drop charges or you give me my freaking license plates back and you take a walk. And once this is solidified, the same way if somebody tried to challenge the Delaware or Nevada corporation loophole, however you want to call it, once this is all sorted out, there's nothing. I guarantee you're going to, all this is going to do is make more people register their cars in, in Montana because they're going to be like, oh, not illegal. And it's been challenged by the state and they crack down on it. Boom, we're all going over there. So I'm excited to see how it's going to play out. I'm pretty confident I know how it's going to play out. And I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, make sure that, and I'm, I don't want to shit on Jalopnik. They featured my stuff so many times. But I'm, I guess I'm not news either. But um, uh, if you look at it as opinion, and I, I just hate the thing that rubbed me the wrong way, nothing against the article except for the Instagram bros thing. Like, to, you're, you're essentially saying that only Instagram bros register their cars in Montana. No, rich people with expensive things tend to put their shit on Instagram because everybody rewards them by clicking like, 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 oh, cool, rich, you're spending a lot of money. Let me like you. And they like you for nothing more than you're spending money. So that's Instagram. But it's not Instagram bros. It's just... Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, legal challenge is up. Ed Bullion, uh, we'll put a link in the description. He did a good response video to this. And uh, I, I think we, we pretty much, between me and Ed, I think we've sort of nailed it as far as why people do it and not why, why is any number of reasons, but why you shouldn't be angry about it, I guess is the reason. Why you shouldn't mind that somebody else registers their car in Montana is the purpose of this video. There's so much in the way of, of with taxes. It just drives you nuts. There's so much tax being paid. There's so much tax not being paid. And when the tax does get paid, it's getting wasted in so many different ways. You don't even want to think about it. So if you don't think about taxes and you just pay what you have to pay, just go through life and be happy. But like, it's like me getting angry that the, the waiters and waitresses of the world aren't declaring their tips. Well, I'm paying my taxes on the money that comes through my bank account. Why are they getting cash tips and not paying taxes on it? And that's the big thing that you have to realize. There's no difference here. It's, it's okay because you have less money for you to, to like work a loophole or work a, work your strategy and it's not okay for that guy to do it. So let's just be fair. Everybody have a good time. Enjoy life. Work within the system the best you can and just freaking smile. That's all I got.